Service members and civilians gathered to witness the ceremonial pushing of a box filled with humanitarian goods into a C-130 during the Operation Christmas Drop ceremony held at Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, December 10. It is only fitting that in this season, at this time, that we pause and reach out and give the orders. And the reward for our efforts is simple, but yet again profound. It's the satisfaction that we have labored to help our fellow men. So I'm honored today to represent the men and women of the 36th Fleet, our Army, our families, our community, and the people of this island as we recognize the importance of Operation Christmas Drive and the purpose of what we are doing together. There will always be challenges that will prove to distract us and try to bring us away from efforts such as this. So as I pray for safe skies, safe flights, and good drops for all of our crews, I will also pray in our hearts that we will always have the zeal and the commitment to make sure that this operation continues for many, many years to come. Operation Christmas Drop is the Department of Defense's longest-running humanitarian airlift operation. During the holiday season of 1952, a B-29 Superfortress aircrew noticed islanders waving at them from the islands of Kapingamarangi, inspiring the aircrew to drop a bundle of supplies attached to a parachute to the islanders below. Believe me, the people of the Federated States of Micronesia very much appreciate all your time and effort. This is something they look forward to every year. Everything that you send down there um, is really put to good use. This year, Operation Christmas Drop organizers and volunteers gathered a total of 62,000 pounds of food, clothing, supplies, and various goods from the local and military communities to deliver to approximately 30,000 islanders. Service members from the Royal Australian Air Force and Japan Air Self-Defense Force are also partners in the effort. For Joint Region Marianas, I'm Alana Chargulov.